Hello everybody. I'm just going to do a little tour of the back deck, the patio, and some of the flower pots that are around the patio and over on the other side of the deck before I have to start taking them in. Last night got down to 44 and that's what tonight's supposed to be and then I think Friday night's supposed to get down to 39. So sad to say it's time to to take a lot of the plants that I'm going to try to keep inside. So I didn't do a whole lot out here on the deck, but I'll show you what I did and ignore the leaves and acorns. I blew this off this morning and the patio and part of the yard over there, but you can't tell it because the acorns are just falling down by the buckets fulls. We know how that is if you have oak trees. Sometimes you get a lot and sometimes you don't, but right now we're getting a lot. So, I see my can of cleaner. <laughs> I was cleaning raccoon feet print off my table. Um, like I said, I didn't do a whole lot out here, but I will get started and show you what I did. We'll walk around here. Just hung a little welcome ghouls sign there. The creeping jenny and the mint, that will survive the winter time. This strawberry plant, strawberry begonia, I will take that in the garage. The other bigger one did great in the garage over the winter. And you can see, can you see all those little strings coming down? There are baby plants on the end of all of those. And when they fall off in another pot of dirt, which is what they do in the garage when I have the plants all in there, that makes lots more babies. And on here, I just put these little autumn birds and squirrel, just to add a little touch. And I put the orange watering cans with the hands. These three flower pots, <clears throat> excuse me, will go in the garage. This, I think, will be at least the third year that I've saved these geraniums, these variegated leaf geraniums. The oxalis that has seeded itself in this pot of geranium and a little bit over here, that goes totally dormant in the wintertime. And then you don't water it while they're in the garage, but then in the spring, early spring, you start watering it and it'll come back to life. Down there is that adorable metal cat that we've had for years. I think he is just super cute. Over there in the corner, I just put a garland around the rooster's neck, and it did have pumpkins on it, <clears throat> but the raccoons pulled them off and took bites out of them. They thought it was real. And then there is a faux pumpkin. Over here, the only thing I did was add the Happy Halloween sign. Most of the shelves are empty because Baby Boy gets in that cabinet and on top of it. That hanging uh, flower will go into, that's a succulent, that'll go in the garage. And over here, I just added that little Halloween globe there along with the chicken that we got at the yard sale this summer. And the red, white, and blue watering cans are still there. They'll go in the garage for the winter, too. <clears throat> and over here, I put that wonderful Halloween sign back that came from Tuesday morning, years ago, before they closed. And I just put some various fall florals. Some of them have little pumpkins and some sunflowers and the leaves and this black plant that I'm not sure what it's supposed to be but it kind of looks spooky. I always love decorating that basket and up there is the Halloween birdhouse I did many years ago. And have the Halloween rug right there. <clears throat> 
working outside this time of year is hard on allergies. And right there is one of the shutters John did. And that stays out year round. Love that old sign. This is one of my favorite of the shutters. That mum is getting ready to bloom. The hummingbirds are still here. I feel like they'll leave this week since most of the nights are going to be in the 40s, but they're still getting on this salvia and on the hummingbird feeder. So I won't get rid of those until the salvias get hit by frost. And last year, the salvias that I just cut down to the ground in the pots, it did come back this year. So I'm going to try that with all these pots of salvia that I have because, like I said, the hummingbirds love them. These mints, they'll stay out here. You can see all the acorns. You'd never know we just cleaned this up. The salvias have been wonderful. Even with the heat, as long as they get enough water, they do bloom. The coleus is still looking good. The sweet potato vine. This begonia, I will cut it way back before I take it in a garage. But it has been gorgeous. Those blooms are just wonderful. And then there's some of the purple queen I just stuck in there. And it'll survive in the garage also. And there's the pink wandering Jew. That will go in the garage. This strawberry plant here will go in the garage. This wonderful begonia. The spider plant. The sedum. This begonia. This sedum right here will go in the garage. And this begonia. This hydrangea with this sedum will stay outside. And it won't be long once when once we start getting frost and it kills back all that, all those plants, perennials, will be cut back. And this pot of hens and chicks and sedum, the raccoons turned it over and dug them all out. So I have got to try to replant them. You can see up there the coleus is still looking good, but once it gets down to a certain temperature, it'll be gone. These are just annuals in this pot. This fern will live outside. I'll move it from here in a place that's more protected. These are just annuals here. And of course, that salvia, I will cut it back and see if it comes back like last year. All right, we're going to walk over this way. This hibiscus will come back next year outside. That's perennial sedum. The coleus will not come back, but the hookera or coral bell will come back. All the hostas will come back next year. Most of the time, the Creeping Jenny comes back. Once in a blue moon, you'll have some that don't come back. And a lot depends on your winter. There's a big hydrangea in the pot. That will come back. It did great out here last winter. All of these hydrangeas are in the ground. This is another salvia that did come back from last year. Look at the beautiful color. And all these hydrangeas, they'll be back. The coleus over there will be gone, sad to say. That begonia goes in the garage. The hosta stays out. The sage will stay out. The aurelia in that pot will stay out and come back. Hostas do wonderful in the pots, even in the wintertime. 
and over here all these plants have just been gorgeous this season this begonia was just planted by breaking off a piece of the original mother plant and putting in there Coleus, of course, won't come back. The Venka will come back. This Kong Coleus has just been gorgeous. Just beautiful. And believe it or not, these impatience here came back from last year. This Lamian dead nettle, that'll come back. There's a Japanese maple in a pot that we grew from a baby we dug up. That mum and hookera came back from a couple years ago. The impatience in here all were volunteers from last year. It all depends on how hard our winter is and we had a milder winter last year. That wagon also has the purple ajuga in it and that will come back. That begonia and the purple queen, I'll put this pot in the garage and cut it back. Both of those were just pieces I broke off from the main plant and just put it in that pot. They've done great. So this is all of these plants. And probably the last time you'll see a lot of them. <laughs> probably the last garden tour for this part of the yard. So I hope everyone is having a good day. I hope you will join with me in continued prayers for the people that have had so much destruction in their towns and their lives from Helene and that we keep all the people in our prayers that are in the path of Milton. They're saying that's going to be really, really bad. So let's remember all these people in our prayers. I know they will appreciate it. And that's, you know, that's the main thing we can all do. No matter what, we can pray for other people if you are a believer. And I definitely believe in the power of prayer. So love and blessings to y'all from me and John and baby boy. We'll see you again soon. Till the next time. Bye-bye.